So, uh, Dave Herring on uh, Quora asked me a really, really great question. Um, and it was related to how to determine potential uh, revenue for uh, mobile applications. This is a really, really good question. I think um, he also dug into the idea of understanding the impact of niche audiences and right now I don't have it up and I can't do that while I'm driving so I'm just gonna kinda wing it um, there is an article I forgot the name of the particular site this is like the fourth time I recorded this David so sorry <laughs> I'm not as prepared as before but I will link in the, des the description an article that I saw related to this topic and it talked about the average uh, CPMs for uh, video, mobile, uh, desktop, and like premium desktop. I should say display or premium display. Uh, the reason why I wanted to point that out is because as a publisher or, or as an inventory source, you know, when you have a mobile application, when you get in a relationship with an ad network or a supply side platform, you will be known as a publisher and you have inventory. You have places where uh, someone can serve ads on. Uh, and what's happening is you get different types of rates on averages based off of your uh, your type of inventory you have. And um, I forgot the exact numbers, <clears throat> but I believe that videos uh, CPMs were around uh, 20, uh, 20 bucks. Uh, mobile was um, actually no, I think it was twenty four sixty. Mobile was uh, three bucks. Display was uh, uh, 190 and I think uh, premium display was like maybe 11 bucks sorry I'm not 100% accurate there but just to give you an idea the one thing that jumps out at me is if you're making a mobile app that's serving banner ads that's about three bucks but if you have a mobile app that can serve video and you can monetize that video you're looking at like a factor of eight times better performance so I would say that's really what you want to look at if you want to be able to, uh, thanks. If you want to be able to, uh, um, you know, monetize that that particular inventory, or, or you're trying to uh, scope your app. So uh, the reason why I say that is because uh, when you look at the uh, land of advertising, um, as a publisher, the only thing that's guaranteed is really impressions. Um, you never know if you're going to get clicks, and you never know if people are going to actually convert and give you ac actions or acquisitions. Um, and the best thing to do as a publisher is to try to get into a revenue share relationship with um, an advertising network or some supply side platform for the simple fact that it doesn't matter if you're getting clicks, actions, and impressions, it doesn't, like, you're going to get paid for all of those. So, all that said, um, I don't really think you need any specialized tools. It's really the uh, amount of impressions that you're getting to be able to uh, look at from a baseline how much money you're getting. So let's say um, you have a million impressions a month on your uh, your particular uh, site or your I should say your your mobile application. Um, so our CPM would be on average we would probably get paid about three bucks for a thousand impressions. So if we look at a million um, and we divide that by a thousand impressions, that's a thousand units. So if you take that a thousand units times three dollars, you're looking at about three thousand uh, dollars and a revenue for that particular application for those million impressions. So that's pretty much a pretty straightforward way of predicting revenue. There are other ways of looking at, um, you know, if you're getting, if you have like a niche audience, you kind of asked about that. Yes, there are ways to look at, you know, figuring out how much your, you know, average sale is, um, how many sales you make a day, and that's another way of predicting. But I think the basic, uh, you know, cocktail napkin calculations, look at how many impressions you have, divide it by a thousand, understand your inventory source. You come up with a number and uh, you know you do a simple calculation and it's really that straightforward to be able to figure out how much revenue you make. So David, uh, thank you very much for asking that question. Um, hopefully you found that uh, useful. <laughs> um, I will link a couple of links uh, in the description. Uh, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching.